The healthcare detective Frank Lally has written a book for Simon and Schuster about how to get affordable health care. Called Your Best Healthcare Now, it is available online, in store, wherever fine books are sold. Mr. Lally is also the health correspondent for Parade. The former editor of Money and George Magazines, a senior advisor to healthcare.com. Hi, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am. I am probably the senior. <laughs> I was the of, yeah in terms of age. Oh, I wasn't uh, doing age. I was just though. Though it's an interesting topic that we should do at some point. I am really struck uh, by how different. Uh, I'm going to call them kids because this is an age thing. But I would say kids between the ages of 25 and 45 are. Um, as far as uh, medical information, I shouldn't even stop. Just basic first aid stuff that we grew up knowing, and it doesn't even appear like it was. It, it got into that. I mean, it's a big chunk. It's a big generation. Yeah. yeah. I mean, unless they took a first aid course, but I'm just saying, just right. basic. Hey, you know, I have a rash type stuff is. Right. Um, well, topic for another day. Yep. I have to say. Uh, today we got to deal with Omicron. That's uh, the new COVID uh, variant. I'm going to try to tell you everything that we know at this point. Uh, but here, look, here's the bottom line. It may be worse than the Delta variant. And Delta is infecting 100,000 people a day or close to it and killing 2,000 people each day in this country. So Omicron has exploded in South Africa. It's become the dominant strain there. And it just tripled in three days. That's scary. It spread to more than two dozen countries already, and that includes at least 10 cases here with five in the New York City area. That means there's community spread in New York City, at least. So we're actually weeks away from knowing whether scientists are right to be worried that Omicron is more transmissible than Delta and worse, that it may be more deadly because our existing vaccines will not be as effective against it as they are against against the Delta. So, Jill, I got a bunch of questions here. I'm going to take them one at a time. I'm going to tell you everything we know. So, question number one, is Omicron more transmissible? Now, it sure looks like it, That's based on how it's galloping in South Africa and into Europe and elsewhere. Omicron has more mutations including in the spike protein. That's part of the protein that latches onto our cells and makes you sick. But we don't know for sure for another, I'd say, week, maybe two weeks. It's possible that the cases in South Africa, at least, are the result of a one-off super spreader event. We don't know, and I wouldn't bet on it. Okay, question number two. Does Omicron cause more severe illness? So early reports from South Africa suggest that it may not be worse than Delta. The early cases there and some of the cases here seem mild, but that may be because many of the patients, at least in South Africa, were young. Now, there's a theory that the more transmissible the virus, the less severe it is. Let's hope that holds. Again, we'll get answers in a couple of weeks. Prepare for the worst. Pray for the best. It's always been a good rule. Question number three. Can Omicron evade our vaccines and our therapies? Now, it's extremely unlikely that our vaccines will be completely ineffective against Omicron. But even a small decrease, to be honest about this, in the effectiveness, that's going to leave us more vulnerable to the awful uh, coronavirus so Moderna has already come out and said it believes that its vaccine will be less effective. They don't know how much. Pfizer is more help, uh, hopeful. Also, the makers of Regeneron, that's a, that's a therapeutic. Uh, that's the therapeutic that actually uh, seems to have saved uh, President Trump's life. Um, they say that uh, that their medicine um, will be compromised, uh, they expect. So, look, we shall see. Uh, and we can't ignore that the first two U.S. patients were fully vaccinated with two shots and one had a booster, but they still got this Omicron. So, Jill, any questions so far? Nope. <laughs> okay. No, I, I, I'm. Uh, it's the 3rd of December when we are recording this at last, uh, I don't know, it's, it's 9.20 this morning. Uh, I knew that Omicron was in five states and that every 
at this point, everybody who has it or has has a mildish case, you know, it's relatively mild, their contact uh, traces have tested negative, and they are all, at this point to a person, uh, all have been fully vaccinated. The question is whether, you know, how many have been boosted. Right. But well, uh, look, so, so early far, days, so, early so, days. Exactly. You're going to see people who are boosted and still getting this. So, look, that gets us to question number four. What can the government do to combat Omicron? So the Biden administration and other countries actually have quickly uh, put in travel bans from overseas. But, you know, come on, look, at best, the bans may slow the spread. That means Omicron may not be our dominant strain, more dominant than Delta, until, let's say, February or March. Now, that gives President Biden a little time to do several things. To extend mask mandates on domestic travel. you got to wear your mask, okay? Bus, train, and, and, and so on. Invest heavily, much more heavily than we are now in tracking and tracing so we can stop these spreads. Make more home testing kits free for everyone, whether you're insured or you're not insured. It's very important. It gives you a lot of confidence if you can take a home testing kit and use, okay, then I can go out uh, and, 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 and carry out my life. And perhaps most importantly, mandate vaccines or testing for all public uh, workers uh, and those who work at big firms with over 100 employees. Now, unfortunately, up to now, his mandates for big companies and even healthcare workers are getting slapped around. Trump appointed judges are blocking some mandates in the courts and Republican lawmakers have spent this entire week down in DC trying to shut down the entire government in order to defund Biden's vaccination and testing mandates. Now, Debbie Stabenow, Stabenauer uh, said, quote unquote, now, for Republicans to even consider shutting down the government in the middle of a pandemic that's killed close to 800,000 Americans is completely irresponsible. I say it's insane. So let's be clear here. President Biden is trying to save lives and Republicans like Ted Cruz are playing to his far right by pushing the quote unquote freedom to risk getting COVID and spreading it. Now, here's, here's a fact. People in red states have a 50% higher chance of dying of COVID than people in blue states. 50% higher. Cruz knows that. He knows that his kind of freedom is killing his own supporters. And he doesn't care. So that gets us to question number five. What can science do to fight Omicron? Now, Both Pfizer and Moderna are already working on targeted vaccines, another round of vaccines targeted for Omicron. But at best, that's going to take around 90 more days. So we should not expect to roll up our sleeves yet again until, let's say, April at the earliest. And by then, Omicron will probably be the dominant strain uh, here. So, Jill, okay, any questions so far? I don't think you're no, – no. Okay. All right. Then I'm, no, I'll because assume. by the time Omicron is the dominant strain, there will be – it's a virus. It's going to mutate. So there, by, by, by the time there's a, another vaccine, in my view, unfortunately, for Omicron, whatever, by the – you know, how, how, how do you stop a, mut, a, a mutating virus? So there's going to be um, another strain. You, uh, you may be right, but how you stop it is to get more people vaccinated. So uh, I'm leaning heavily on that, which just gets us to question number six, which is what should you do to protect yourself and others from a mutating coronavirus? Exactly your point. Well, look, let's start out with reality. Let's assume that the vaccines that exist right now won't be as effective against as, as they are against Delta. OK, let's let's assume that. But the vaccine's efficacy won't drop to zero. So getting, say, let's 70 percent protection from severe illness, hospitalization and worse, it's better than 100 percent of nothing. So get fully vaccinated. If you haven't already, get your second shot, get your booster, get as much protection as possible. Now, remember, everyone over age 18 can get boosted today. So there's something like 70 percent of the public has uh, been fully vaxxed, but only about 20% of of those people have gotten the booster, okay? So join that 20% crowd. 
kids as young as 16 may be eligible uh, for shots, uh, booster shots within weeks, get shots in their arms. Also, again, wear your mask around strangers, social distance as we as we always do, and think twice about taking risks. Now, Carol and I were planning a nice trip over the over the holiday weekends, uh, holiday time, uh, to go down to our in-laws in Tucson. We're sort of proceeding, but we're making all of our reservations fully refundable. <laughs> well, that's smart anyway, given <laughs> given the difference. No, no I, I, I'm interjecting only to say that uh, uh, at this point with travel, because uh, it is so, shall we say, fluid, it is wise to make sure that you can get a refund or do something. You're not stuck. Yeah, you're not stuck. Get refundable uh, yep. tickets and and book you book your uh, the hotels are great. I mean, usually you can cancel within a day or two. So, look, listeners, uh, I'm going to do all I can, and other people here at Robin Hood, like uh, Marshall and others, we're going to do all we can to keep you informed about this. Yes, it's a mutating virus, and there'll be a lot of news. We're going to know a lot more by mid December, and that's going to help all of us decide what to do next. Now, it's depressing, frankly, to think about that once again. We may have to upend our holiday plans, but look, let's hope we don't have to go that far to stay healthy, which gets us to my final question, which is question seven. Is the media overhyping Omicron? Now, speaking for myself, I sure hope I am. I hope this Omicron scare fades away like the variants from Brazil and Delta Plus and others that I've talked to you about, I hope it just fades away. But my message to you about the deadly mutating coronavirus is this. You can't be too careful. So, Jill, that's my message for today. Did I get it across as clearly as you'd like it? I think so. (laughs) Okay, then we're... And we did what we can, and we'll we'll come back to this as uh, as events uh, dictate. Thank you, Frank, the healthcare detective and senior advisor to healthcare dot com. Send your questions or concerns about finding affordable healthcare to healthcare detective at robinhoodradio dot com. Frank will try to address as many of your questions as he can on future broadcasts. Also, look for his book, Your Best Healthcare Now, available online, in store, and on my desk.